Hello, this is Shay Jackson with Hype Math. In today's video, we will be reviewing for the 2022 Texas Star Math Test for fourth graders. Our concept is one and two step word problems, and this is part two. Remember fourth graders, every day may not be good, but there is something good in every day. We have our fourth grade math and reading review workbooks available for purchase in our store. The links are in the description box so that you can grab yours today. Do you need a math or reading tutor? We offer virtual one-on-one -on -one and group tutoring for second to eighth grade students. Parents, there's a link in the description box for you to sign up for a free consultation. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, click that notification bell, and press the like button so that you will be alerted to new videos we upload and also spread the word about Hype Math. We greatly appreciate your support. Let's dive into number 33. The list shows the number of, teacher, of trees, not teachers, trees, <laughs> Isaiah planted in three years. Isaiah wants to plant a total of 2,000 trees. How many more trees does Isaiah need to plant? So let's look at his list right quick. He planted 521 trees in the first year, 387 trees in the second year, and 438 trees in the third year. Our answer choices are F, 654, G, 1,346, H, 874, and J, 764. Well, in order to solve this problem, we need to know what we are looking for. And we are looking for how many trees Isaiah needs to plant. Now that we know that, our next question will be, well, what information can help us find the answer? And that information is the number of trees that Isaiah has already planted. And just as a friendly reminder, for that first year, he planted 521 trees. The second year, 287 trees. And for the third year, 438 trees. That's a lot of trees. Now, how are we going to solve this problem? Well, what we need to do is we'll take two steps. Our first step will be adding the trees Isaiah planted together. And then that second step will be subtracting the total from 2000. Let's start with step one. We said that we need to add the trees Isaiah planted together. So 521 plus 387 plus 438 is equal to 1346. Now that we have that total, we can dive into step two, which is subtracting our total, which is 1,346 from 2,000. That means 2,000 minus 1,346, and that is equal to 654. So now that we have our answer and we've answered both step one and step two, what is our correct answer? Well, now that we have our answer, all we need to do is look at our answer choices to see which one has 654 as the value, and I bet you see it. Yes, F is the correct answer. Great job, fourth graders. Let's move to question number 34. Fran bought four shirts that were $13 each. She also bought a pair of socks for $429. What was the total amount Fran paid for the shirts and socks? Is it A, $21.29, B, $56.29, C, $69.16, or D, not here? In order to solve this problem, you already know, we need to discover what we are looking for. And we are looking for the, uh, the total amount Fran paid for the shirts and socks. Now that we know what we're looking for, our next question is, well, what information can help us find the answer? 
And the information that can help us find the answer is one, Fran bought four shirts that were $13 each and also a pair of socks for $4.29. So in order to solve this problem, we have two steps. First, we need to find the total for the four shirts and then step two, add the total of step one and the pair of socks. So let's do that now. Step one, in order for us to find the total for the shirts, we need to multiply four times 13 because the shirts were $13 each and that is equal to $52. Now that I have that, we need to move to step two. We are going to add the total of step one, which is $52 and the pair of socks, which is $4.29. 52 plus $4.29 is equal to $56.29. Now that we have our final answer, well, what is our correct answer? What we need to do is look at our answer choices. Do you see the one that says $56.29? Yes, the correct answer is B, great job fourth graders. And that is it fourth graders for our review of one and two step problems part two. Remember, we have our fourth grade math and reading review workbooks available for purchase in our store. This is Shay Jackson with Hype Math. I will talk to you later.